Central Coast doctor just created national labor and delivery guidelines for the safety of expectant moms during COVID-19. News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti spoke with a doctor and a nurse to shed light on what those guidelines are. The reality is with all the precautions that are in place now, it's never safer to actually be in the hospital. New guidelines for labor and delivery are being adopted across the nation to ensure expectant mothers and new babies are cared for with extra precaution. And a doctor right here on the Central Coast helped create those guidelines. At least here, are testing all of our pregnant moms as they come through the door and get admitted to the hospital so that we know what their status is. Dr. Larry Shields with Dignity Health Central Coast says the new guidelines are aimed to reduce exposure to the mother, the baby, and healthcare staff during the pandemic. Extra precautions are being taken, including additional personal protective equipment to reduce risk of infecting healthcare staff and the baby when born. Dr. Shields says if an expectant mother has COVID-19, extra safety precautions will be put in place after birth. We don't want our moms being afraid to come to the hospital. They need to come to the hospital or come to the hospital for delivery. Some pregnant women have been asking about home births due to concerns of exposure to the virus. But healthcare staff say this puts both the mother and the baby at a significantly higher risk to a poor outcome. And what we really would like to reinforce is that the hospital is a safe place to come if you're needing care. Shield says for expectant mothers experiencing shortness of breath or a medical emergency, please visit the emergency department immediately. I've not heard of a single case around the country where the mom has come to the hospital and left with COVID-19. In Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti.